I done fixed this dag blasted cast net once and right now it's got about four broken braille lines. That means whatever I throw it over, about 85% of it's going to escape by the time I pull the net in. But I am hoping that there's so much bait out there, I still get enough to the bank that I can fish. Now these braille lines that are loose can tangle up. My net might not open up right. But I ain't got time to fix the net today. I just need some bait to get started. Nice sunny Sunday, December. Almost afternoon, it's getting close to lunch. I'm too lazy to get up early. All right, people, Catfish Dave here. Title of this video is It's All About That Bait. It's December 15th, a pretty mild day for December. Uh, temperature right now is about 52 degrees. Started out in the 40s this morning, and it's fixing to drop back down into the 40s here real quick. It's a very light wind, good and sunny, nice day to be on the water. Y'all seen how easy I caught them gizzard shad. Somewhere they're skipjacks, but this just ain't the season when they're super easy. You're gonna have to run, you're gonna have to find them. If you're not one of these guys that's literally on the water every day and can, and can keep up with where they're at, they get tough to find for the guy that comes out on the weekend. And me, I pretty much just come out on the weekend anymore. So I don't need to spend three or four hours running around trying to find skipjack that I might not even find. You know, take 15 minutes to net some shad and that gives me an extra several hours of fishing time actually fishing for a real catfish. Fact is, my biggest fish of the last few videos did not come on skipjack. They actually came on cut catfish. So I'm going to spend my time fishing, not chasing bait all day. River's been up, river's been down. It'll rain, the river will rise. It'll spill the gates, try to get it to drop back down to winter pool. Typically on the drop, I get a slower bite. Typically on the drop, I do not want to be in a backwater creek. Uh, Watts Bar seemed to be the most stable water of the several reservoirs in my area. 
and also seems to have very good current flow. The river itself is raging as far as current. It's not flooded by any means. They've got the level under control, but the actual current is moving pretty good. And what I'm fishing here is pretty much a shallower flat very close to deep water. And I mean good deep water, like 55 foot. These two rods here, I did hit just a little bit over some sort of drop. I'm estimating they're in about 20, 25 foot of water. That rod over there, it's sitting pretty shallow. Probably about six, eight foot of water. Never know where you'll find a wintertime catfish. They can be as shallow as three feet of water. I feel like my money maker rods are gonna be the two on this tackle box where I hit over that drop. Guys are always asking on my local East Tennessee catfish page, you know, we just moved here, blah, blah, blah. We love to catfish. How come we're not catching any big fish like you people are, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, people, 99% of my videos are made at public access locations. This right here, although it is not a concrete boat ramp, it is a legit uh, TVA boat ramp. It is on the map listed as a boat ramp, and it's a public access. Most of my fish, all of my biggest fish, came from very public places, public parks, public ramps, etc. So you've got access to the fish, so the only thing you can be missing is the right bait, right gear of course. With my gear, I'm getting my baits out there, man. I'm able to reach some fish. There's some type of river systems in the country where the drop off is literally right at the bank. Guys running trot lines or whatever, you know, most of their fish will come closer to the bank. That's where the actual drop off is. Not here. This gets shallow, shallow, and then gradually gets deeper and gradually gets deeper. And eventually there's a ledge out there where it'll get real deep. Every system is different. In East Tennessee, in these large uh, Tennessee River reservoirs, I need to be able to get distance because of all the different factors that I'm dealt with. And my gear gives me the distance. That was definitely a small fish. If I get a small blue cat, I'm going to keep him for bait. Because the one I've got now is nine days old. I've made three good videos on it. It's time for some fresh, though. Because I'm not going to spend all winter chasing skipjack. It's done been proven to me that big fish will hit that catfish. I'll alternate. Stop throwing my net. Grab me some shad. Keep a once in a blue moon small catfish. It'll last a long time once you get one. And I'll have all the bait I need this winter. It's all about that bait, people. These fish, big fish, want to eat other fish. If you're pulling up out here, these short rods, throwing chicken livers, throwing chicken breasts, throwing shrimp on these little short rods, you're not covering the water I'm covering. You're not giving them what they really want. Sure, you'll catch a fish occasionally here and there. Once in a blue moon, you hear of a big fish getting caught on a piece of chicken or something. But bottom line, for most success, fresh bait caught right out of the river is what you want to use. That's what we got here today. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. And so I've got about three and a half hours till dark. This is where I'm gonna park and put my time in on the water. I figure with all the current flow going on, it could possibly have some of the lazier fish pushed up into the shallower flat that I'm fishing. This spot I'm in, anything's possible here. Blue cat, channel cat, possible winter flathead, or even one of those dag blasted fish with the stripes on them. like a flathead is what it acts like.
Acts just like a flathead. Very lethargic acting, most likely a flathead in this cold water. Feels heavy, but ain't pulling hard. Sounded like a flathead when he first hit it. Barely seen the line moving. I say, yeah, it's probably a flathead. He didn't even really give me a pull. I could just tell the, there was something putting a little bit of tension on the line, so I cranked her down. Very lethargic acting fish in this cold, but that's how they do. They'll still hit, as long as it ain't too cold. I told you this was a boat ramp. That hit deep water. All three rods are in deep water now. Pull 
does that much to be in a five foot net. Give this thing kind of swing. I'll drop it every time. Well, I said, y'all doing anything on line? I'm pulling them up over a drop off too. That makes them feel bigger. Carnage is a very heavy, heavy rod, man. Yeah, that don't hardly bend at all. Get him up over a drop off. There it is right there. It's all about that bait. All right, people, sun's getting ready to set. It's all about that bait. I'm fishing a public access ramp. All the spots I fish are public, parks, boat ramps, etc. Guys saying they ain't catching nothing bigger than a channel cat. And most likely reason for that, throwing some chicken livers or something. Got to throw that real stuff. Give them what they want. Gizzard shad is probably their main diet. Skipjack herring, probably my favorite bait most of the year during the warmer water periods. But anything will work if you can't get either of the two. Any bait, as long as it's a fresh fish, cut bluegill, cut crappie, I'd say you're better off catching a big fish with that than you would be an old chicken liver. Chicken livers for them old spotted channel cats. Channel cat gets any size, he loses its spots. I didn't want to spend all day chasing skipjack through my neck quick. Got some fresh shad, picked a channel spot due to the conditions. Didn't want to fish backwaters because we are experiencing a little water drop. So I picked this spot, pulled out a couple decent fish, flathead, which is always nice to see in December, and a decent blue. But it's all about that bait, people. Get your cast net. Learn how. Got it. 
Bottom line, stay away from the grocery store baits. Go get you some real bait and catch you some real catfish. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one signing out. Yeah, he went hard right. Yeah. Way to the right.